Dear brother and sister, Alhamdulillah, welcome back to the Night Kalam. Alhamdulillah, today we would like to discuss about a very practical issue that we always engage in. That is about engagement in Islam. Do Islam allow us uh, to go through their engagement? Yes, the Prophet Wasallam allowed the men yeah, to make a kind of agreement with the woman or both sides to end up with an engagement. Engagement is like a booking, you know. Make a booking first. But why the booking? Because to make sure that no other party will come in between. Because the Prophet do not allow. If one woman is being engaged to another brother, no other brother can come in until this engagement is being dissolved. So Islam do. It is also a sunnah. But how long do the Islamic engagement uh, should carry on? Islam do not like us to delay anything that is good. Even the Quran said, Fasta bilu yeah? Anything good, be hastened. Don't delay. Why, why must you delay for nothing? Because the more you delay, you may encounter more problem, more fitna, more trial. You know, it can cause a lot of uh, suffering to the other party. Sometimes, you know, if there's a delay just because of financial matter, we can sit down and discuss. You know, and help each other. What ala bir wa taqwa, but not purposely. You know, I want to engage after two years, after three years. There's too long. You know. But again, brother and sister, uh, everybody have to be wise enough and be fair for both party. You know, so if the girl sister is ready to get married, they don't like to delay anymore. The delay can cause a lot of fitna to her. Yeah, but there's another issue. In some culture, maybe in some country, when a brother and a sister has been engaged, they thought that when you are engaged, that means now you are like husband and wife. You can take her to any place. You can even uh, take her on the on the bike, you know, to ride on the bike. No, engagement is just like a booking. It's like an air lesson, you know. You don't even carry any 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 passengers with you. You only have the right to to drive the car by yourself because you are in the on the air lesson. You don't have the freedom as husband and wife. All the don is still there. It's not for you to do anything yet. You cannot just feel, oh, now because you are my, I have engaged with you, so you are my girlfriend now, but not no a, a normal girlfriend, a serious girlfriend, you know, going to be a wife. You cannot just go out courting, outing by yourself because you are not mahram to each other yet. So this is something that I like to remind all the good brothers and sisters after engaging one it never means that you have the license to bring her anywhere just among yourself to be together because you are not legal as husband and wife yet whatever you do that normally people do is wrong and is haram so please remember that engagement do not give you the license to do anything you like because you are not really husband and wife yet until you commit yourself in a nikah. After nikah, then of course, now you can declare yourself as husband and wife. But engagement is just, remember, it's an air license, just a booking. So may Allah protect us from this misunderstanding and may Allah guide us back to the teaching of Islam, not following our culture and tradition that create a lot of fitna, that before you get married, so many things have happened and it can cause a lot of you know, unrest to the whole family. And then may Allah protect all of us from a greater fitan by coming back to the fall of Islam and follow the Quran and Sunnah that Allah and the Prophet allow us to do. We can do what is forbidden is forbidden. Amin Ya Rabbul Alamin wa billahi tawfiqi wa aqli da'wana والحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته